the minutes. What is, is this fog going to stick around all morning? Not all morning. The dense fog advisory lifts about 10 o'clock this morning, but outside over downtown Fort Worth, this is really the story here in much of the area. Foggy conditions out there, and there you'll see that dense fog advisory for most of the area, again, until about 10 o'clock this morning. Let's be extra careful around the bus stops. Low visibility is about a quarter of a mile or less, and so as you've been saying, Marcin, use those low beam headlights and just be extra slow and careful on the roads. Now, let's talk about what we're tracking too. a weather alert for later this afternoon and this evening. Some gusty winds, small hail, even the potential for a little localized flooding. Hearing from some folks though in emergency managers in, in Grayson County has some storms overnight, some impassable roads in parts of the county right now. I just understand later today there will be some localized flooding for parts of the area because we're tracking some storms. I think wind, uh, gusty winds, some small hail, and even that localized flooding, the big threats, the threat for tornadoes, very low with this event. So looking at future cast as we continue going through the morning, we'll have low clouds and fog out there. Then the fog will lift. We will see mostly cloudy skies. If the clouds hang around too long today, we might not have as much unstable air to work with to see a lot of strong storms developing. Still, though, I think we will have some storms out there, especially along and east of I-35E, having the best chance of seeing some of that activity. That's toward 445 this afternoon. Many of us hitting the road to go home from work, and you'll notice some of that wet weather along I-30 and even toward I-20. That's toward 530, parts of Dallas County and eastward toward Sulphur Springs, seeing some wet weather out there with some strong thunderstorms, and even farther to the east toward Mount Pleasant and Mineola. We'll watch this activity lift and rather sink to the south later on this afternoon and evening. Overnight, I think a lot of us will be dry, a stray sprinkle, though not out of the question overnight. Now look how much rain we can see from now until tomorrow morning. That's going to be about a half an inch up to an inch of rain in a few areas there. Again, some localized flooding is not out of the question. The temperatures in the Metroplex are in the 50s with 56 degrees in McKinney, 57 degrees in Dallas right now. And through the afternoon, temperatures only rising into the mid and upper 60s. The chance of showers and storms, we'll call that chance about 50%. Otherwise, with the bus stop forecast today, I give it a grade of a C with fog and drizzle out there. A grade of a C even this afternoon with rain and some isolated thunderstorms in the area. But there, we're not expecting an outbreak of severe weather. Let's just have uh, all your eyes to the sky as we go through the afternoon. And with your CBS News Texas apps and platforms there, we'll keep you posted. How about the temperatures <laughs> going up and down like a roller coaster, just like Nick Starling, right? 65 for tomorrow, 81. 81 degrees for highs on Saturday, back into the 60s for Sunday.